I am the knight. Today, we are going to be looking at the horrors of DC rap battles. Specifically, Batman battles. These poor excuses of rap are the antithesis of everything that I stand for. The injustice of our society as a whole. On your feet, soldiers. You have just been drafted into a rap battle war. Alright, obviously I am not keeping that voice for the whole video. Today, we will be looking at gridline rap battles is Batman vs. Spider-Man. Why this connection? Because... Screw Attack did it once? I mean, I love Spider-Man and Batman, but if you ask me what do these guys have in common that would have them fight each other in a rap battle, the only thing that will cross my mind is... They have dead parrots. And that's it. Why is it that most of the popular matchups between two superheroes from DC and Marvel end up making the least amount of sense? Whatever, let's play this thing. Well, this is the weirdest logo I have seen for a battle series yet. I mean, where do I start? Well, for one, it's not animated, I can tell you that. Second, the grid line text is placed behind the actual grid line and the E is completely covered by the big ass R in front of it. Also, I am pretty sure that's the same font Brandon uses in his review thumbnails. And for a series that is named Gridline Rap Battles, the battles text seem to be lacking in, you know, the S. Also, by the looks of the font, it looks like the two T's are forming into a U, like it is spelling out BO. Also, I can see the white edges on both the battle and rap text. Could you really not just, you know, type in the words yourself and export it as a PNG file instead of a JPEG with a white background behind it? I'm complaining about the fonts of the intro before I even got to the rappers. I need to stop that. Well, isn't that just the most awkward position to be in right now? It looks like he's ready to get it in the butt. And look at this one spazzing out on the left. I know he is supposed to be active like he is shooting webs out of his wrist, but it looks like he is flailing his arms around trying to get the webs to come out. Ah! How do I shot web? <coughs> the costume is fine with the design taken from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but there are times where it looks off. Preferably the back because the red part of the suit doesn't make its way into the back like previous costumes and there's no back symbol. Because why would there be? And I should not be repeating myself on this for every single video but... Shoutouts! You need them. And one last thing, I can tell you without hesitation that this background is not New York. I can tell because I recognize that building being the Gherkin Tower which was built in London, England. And, okay, let's excuse that they might have used it as a stand-in for Oscorp Towers, despite it not having the logo. Even if I accept it, this is still not New York, because the actual photos of New York have, well, buildings, everywhere. They are not scattered around like Las Vegas, nor does it have this much low-story buildings around them. Maybe it's supposed to be Queens? I don't know. Batman! Uh... Wow. Okay, let's get to the costume first. It looks fine, but there is something about it that looks weird to me in some places. I think it has to do with the cowl not being the same material as the suit alone, and the fact that Beta Spark did not put black makeup on his eyes here. You know, the thing that every single live-action Batman had? And look at the one on the back. Look how shitty the green screen is. And it doesn't help that after he gets up, he actually walks to the camera to stop recording. Why did people insert shots of the actor breaking character? Okay, now let's get to the big one. Holy Cinema 4D Batman, what is this? Is this supposed to be Gotham City or a bunch of Legos thrown together? Look at the moon! I've heard it was made out of cheese, but this is pure mozzarella right here. This background looks like something you would see in Dark Tomorrow or any other shitty Batman game that was released on the PlayStation 2. 
I now understand why Batman is so pissed off here. He knows exactly what's gonna happen, and it ain't looking good. Wait, did he just look away? Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. No. You're not doing that voice. I understand you are trying to imitate Christian Bale's Batman with the outfit and everything, which is kind of off given the spotlight here is showing the original Batman logo instead of, you know, this one. But why the crap would you ever try and copy Bale's throat cancer voice in the movies? Out of all the other Batman voices you could have used, Kevin Conroy, Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, Val Kilmore, hell, George Clooney. I can't believe I am actually saying that. You could have used George Clooney's voice for this role, but this is what you went with. The Dark Knight, people. My name, baby. I can tell my flash Thompson. Make a life more of a living hell than you did beating Green Goblin. Is this... Is this on beat? Because it sounds like he's recording his lines without the instrumental playing. Also, what? Make your life more of a living hell? than you did being Green Goblin? Are you trying to tell me that Spider-Man being the ever-loving shit out of the Goblin made his life hell? Yeah, that does not confuse me in the slightest other than giving me a very good image on how that would play out. Oh, you son of a bitch! You killed my lover, you ugly bastard! My life has been hell. Your fan base made up of nerds and kids at the age of 10. Bruce Wayne, age 10. My fandom was more superior. I thought I just said in the last video that fandoms have absolutely nothing to do with a battle and they are not worth referencing at all here, no matter how good or bad they may be. And why would Batman be saying this? Why would he resort to that kind of insult instead of, you know, Spider Man? What's that? You're 10? And you like Spider-Man? Well, you better go win that loser belt, cause you're a nerd! Hell, you ball at the market scene in box of Uncle Ben. Obviously, calling back to a video on YouTube where Spider-Man is shopping at a store until he picked up some Uncle Ben's rice and started bawling. It is a pretty funny video. Enough said. Bruce Wayne, please. Never had the franchise been in such terror since Tim Burton gave up, and he left the penguin he got this man. This line is actually pretty decent by calling out Batman's Dark Age in films with Burton leaving the series, but how do you exactly know who Batman is? I mean, with Sherlock Holmes in the ERB, it made sense. After all, the guy was a detective, so he could have put the pieces together right away and reveal his true identity. You're a kid, and I don't think you can use science as an excuse. And by the way, can you speak louder please? Oh god, the symbiote is latching onto the subtitles! Run away, Spider-Man! Spider wow, that must be the pussiest way to show off your muscles that I have ever seen. I am the ultimate Spider-Man. Spider so what? Nobody said you were losing your mind. And where did this happen exactly? In the comics, the shows, the films, the games? What are you exactly talking about? Make it to your childhood? Wait till I get a hold of you. Leave a bed in a bad case of arachnophobia. I also want to point out that whenever the camera switches to a full body and a close-up shot, the background never moves with it. I know Batman can disappear very quickly when he's obscured in a shadow or by smoke, but that doesn't mean he can teleport, and neither can Spider-Man. Okay, why are the subtitles back to white? It's not like you have to switch them to different colors to avoid the blending into the background. Yes, cause that's the place where you send pictures to get them published on newspapers, you dumbass. I know that's supposed to be a joke, but it's still a dumbass joke. What? Okay, so apparently, Friction is basing his Spider-Man off of Andrew Garfield. But what does Batman mean by knocking you back to Tommy Maguire? 
If I didn't look at the Wikipedia and someone told me that Beta had a major part in fixing the lyrics for this battle, I would think he was just as insane as the Joker. It's supposed to be an insult. I don't Oh my Jesus, what the hell is up with Batman's neck here? It looks like it's popping off of his body like a 3D model glitching out in the super old game. Maguire. It's supposed to be an insult. It didn't sound like one. I'll tell you that. I don't want to hear that coming from you. You switch lead role more times than the guy from Doctor Who. Think you're funny. Punk is nothing but death and crime and the rage of a beast. Don't let you quit. Aside from the Arkham games and Injustice, I think you have a much bigger shit library of games than Spider-Man. Okay, so he said, face it, you're defeated, with the wrong you're of course, implying that this battle is over. But then he goes and says that the battle is not over and it has just begun. I do not contradict myself, but I kinda do. No one needs you, or deserves you, so bug off. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah, I saw that coming when you ended your last line with "began." You'll be done by your next movie, and no one's already down the road. So sit around watching episodes of your campy sixty show. Okay, seriously. Why do the subtitles keep going from black to white? It's actually really distracting me right now. And I'm proud to be a nerd, because I can still do the math. That Arkham belongs to the Joker, and he's got the last laugh. A last jokes on you reference? A reference to a character that has never appeared in this battle at all? Saying he got the last laugh like he is the one that won instead of you? This battle sucks. Oh, and get this. This battle is only 1 minute and 23 seconds long. But they stretched the outro up to a whole minute making this video 2 minutes and 26 seconds. Why? I don't know, money? Ugh, this was not good. The backgrounds are crap, the lyrics are nonsensical, the editing is all over the place, the impressions are average at best, the only thing I can give it is that the costumes are at least tolerable, but is that gonna be enough to say this whole mess? Of course not. We're not done yet though, we still have three other Batman battles to go. Will they be better than this one, or will they suck as much donkey balls as this one? These questions will be answered whenever I get them ready, so tune in when they are. Same bat time, same bat channel. Oh, baby!